In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get BlueJ up and running on your Chromebook. In order to do this, you need to wait until you're notified that Linux has been enabled on your Chromebook. Assuming that's occurred, we can start here in the Toolchain Setup Lab at Step 3 and download the BlueJ installation script. I'm going to click on the link and it's going to open the file in Google Drive. All we need to do once it's open is to click on the download button to save it to the downloads folder on our Chromebook. We can then click show in folder and we can see that we have downloaded the BlueJ install.sh file. Um, however, we need it in our Linux container. So I'm gonna click and drag and drop it from the downloads folder to where it says Linux files. So now it is copied there. Um, now we need to interact with the Linux container, and we do that by running the terminal app. So click on the magnifying glass and type terminal and launch the terminal app. It'll take just a moment to spin up the Linux container. Um, and here is where we're gonna run our install command. The command we're gonna type here in the command line interface is bash, B-A-S-H. And then I'm gonna type blue and just hit the tab key to complete the rest of the file name and hit enter. Um, this will update, first update our operating system. On your system, it will take considerably longer. Um, my system has already been updated. It's then gonna install Java, which will also take considerably longer on your system. Finally, it's gonna download and install BlueJ. While it's downloading BlueJ, I'm gonna switch to Chrome, and this is the GitHub page for the repository um, that I accepted with the GitHub Classroom assignment. Um, and I'm going to click on the download code green button here, um, and it displays the URL for the repository. And I'm going to click on the clipboard to copy that URL because we're going to need that in just a moment. Switching back to the terminal, we can see that it has downloaded and installed BlueJ and installation is complete. Again, that's going to take a lot longer on your Chromebook than on mine. All right, our next step is to actually launch BlueJ. I'm going to hit the magnifying glass again, type BlueJ, hit enter and it will launch the BlueJ app. Even though this is running in the Linux container, it's gonna look pretty much like all your other Chrome apps. So that's pretty cool. Once it's open, we're going to clone the repository from GitHub so that we can write code within BlueJ. Um, and there's gonna be just a couple of steps to do. When we do open new windows in BlueJ, the upper left corner tends to be at the center of the screen, which is odd. So there'll be a lots of redragging of windows. I'm going to click on the tools menu and then go to the team sub menu and then click on checkout project. In the dialog that's displayed, make sure that the git button is checked and not subversion. In the field that says repository URI, control V to paste in the URL that we copied from the GitHub website. You'll need to specify your name and email address and then your GitHub username and your GitHub password. Mine are already saved from previous interactions. Once that's done, go ahead and hit the OK button. We then need to specify where we want it to save this repository. I'm going to save it in a folder called Objects and hit OK. It's now going to check out the project, which clones it from the GitHub servers, um, copies all those files um, as we go. All right, let me try that again. I'm going to type in my password, hit OK. I'm going to save it in the Objects folder and click the OK button. And now it is checking out the project, which is cloning it from the GitHub server um, and downloading all those files to, our, to the Linux container in our Chromebook. All right, it is now done checking out the project. The new BlueJ project is open and two class files are displayed, Turtle Lab and Turtle Demo. For the purposes of the Toolchain Setup Lab, I'm going to double click on the Turtle Demo class. I'll open up the editor in a new window so that we can change the code for Turtle Demo. Click and drag that over. I'm just going to make a small change to this file for the purposes of this toolchain setup lab, small change. 
and I'm going to close that window. Um, at this point, I need to commit and push those changes to the GitHub servers. Um, the way we do that is we need to display some extra buttons. If I go to the view menu and click on show team and test controls, we can see that there's now some teamwork buttons that are here. I'm going to click on the commit push button. In this dialog that's displayed, we can see that I changed the turtle demo.java file. I'm going to type a commit comment, just demonstrating BlueJ on Chromebook, and I'm going to click the commit button. At this point, the commit has been made locally on my Chromebook, but I still need to click the push button to actually send those changes to the GitHub server. Once that's complete, I can now close this dialog and I'm going to switch back to Chrome um, and refresh this page. And I can now see that my most recent commit message is in this blue area here, demonstrating BlueJ on a Chromebook. And I can click where it says for me, 14 commits. And that will bring up a page of all the recent commits that I've made. This is the page I would like you to take a screenshot of and submit for this lab. I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions.